Hello. Well, it's Saturday, 13th, um, and I've actually managed to get to come and sit in the garden. It's been chucking it down all week. And uh, so, most of what I've been doing this week is the uh, holes um, jewellery. And I've started cleaning some of the silver from the bric-a-brac hole, so I'll show you that when I go upstairs. But I've ended up in a rat pigging mess again. Just stuff. I'm so untidy. I really need to get to grips on putting stuff away, but it's been sidetracked, isn't it? That's trouble. Um, when you can multitask, it's all right. Ooh, the sun's coming out. When you can multitask, it's all right, but I think multitasking left me a long time ago now. Uh, I think I ought to start doing lists and stick to the list, but I don't do it because I don't usually stick to them. Um, I was looking up some earrings last night. I spent, what, over an hour looking up this mark on these earrings. I'll show them you when I go upstairs, but uh, in fact, I might incorporate this next lot in this vlog because if I wait until I've done all the hauls it'll be ages before I do a vlog so I'll do that and um, hopefully this will be the intro to this vlog uh, not sure how much you can hear me really but I'll show you around the garden anyway and then we'll go upstairs morning it's actually Monday morning <laughs> on that last snippet you'll have seen Musman come up behind me and we, we had to go and do something get lunch or whatever it was i can't remember but i forgot totally to uh show you around the garden but i'll show you later and um then i've had a weekend off so this room is in the same state as it was before uh, but i did mention i was looking up some earrings so i'm going to show you i'll see if anybody can help me with this Right, these are the earrings. I've not tested them yet, but they're silver coloured and they're a beautiful uh, red stone, uh, like a ruby red and uh, with crystals or something sparkly around the edge. And they're a London clasp. I looked that up, I didn't know. And there are two hallmarks on the stem there that goes through the ear. Uh, two marks on there. And I've had to draw them because at first I saw the big bit and I thought, oh, it looks like Arc de Triomphe. And there is some earrings called Triomphe. But um, American company, bizarrely, but... On those, the marks seem to say La Triomphe on them. And this one, to me, it looks like a bridge. Anyway, it says 1B, and 1B can be to do with diamonds, but I don't think I'd be that lucky. Um, but it's, it looks like a little bridge mark in a rectangle-ish. Uh, and then it says FSK in big letters, so yeah. I can see a longer rabbit hole coming up. Anyway, I'm going to back off now and show you what I'm up against before I start doing some proper work today. Um, Phil's first day back at work today, so I've got no excuses. I've got to crack on. Um, I've got to tidy this lot up before I can even do my packaging. This is what was there Saturday morning. Still is. I'm just going to... <coughs> oh dear. I think this jewellery makes me sneeze. Um, and this lot was all earrings, but I'm not going to show you any more than that because I'll tidy them all away. I've got to go through that lot again, but I'll do a separate video of that haul. Um, there's quite a few bits of silver in it. Uh, packaging going out. Um, I want to thank Maureen. Uh, it's been in a bit. Uh, Maureen's ordered an item of jewellery, thank you very much, she's a subscriber and um, what she did was sent me uh, in the comments, can I uh, message you? If you ever want to message me on Facebook, it's Susan Davison um, and I've no idea how to put the link in there, so 
uh, just look me up on there if there's anything you're interested in i'd sooner you do that uh, rather than messages through uh, ebay unless of course you've actually bought something already um because we could all go into trouble so if you uh, send me a message uh that would be good now also thank you spinning again um these three are going out uh and uh oh, i've just distracted myself hang on uh, sorry i had to turn the label over i've got a, a right big address label on the side uh, it was distracting me uh these are going out i got a message from uh, carol um a subscriber and she was interested in three rather than one item from my store so i'll not show me in detail in case uh, there's a present for somebody that sits watching with her um mind you she should have got them before this goes live anyway so so thank you very much carol for that much appreciated and uh what else is going out right tell you what i'll do i'll tidy up so i can get this packed safely i'll get out what's going out today and i'll show you that i've just been out <laughs> been to take my parcels been to the post office there was nobody other than the person serving in either of them and uh, it just felt brilliant being out of the house so i shan't be venturing far but i drove past my regular um charity shop and that's still shut anyway and quite a lot of the shops have still uh, got the shutters down so and there's not that much traffic to be honest unless they're all at Meadow hall maybe looking at sales and stuff so anyway i'm about to have some lunch i've got some uh, saved pasta bake and uh yeah i'll just uh, pop in the garden i've got a rose hiding in this corner that's not been pruned very well i really need to look up pruning them uh, I, I want it to climb up that fence anyway so it's all right but we've got some roses coming uh, in fact that one's finished get off that's it uh, i end up with pruning thumb I end up with green under my thumb bit how i've done uh, so i cut the side off that so that we could see that rose Go right back round to weeding that bit, yeah. Uh, this is finished. This is that sea and this. It's been stunning. Uh, I've trimmed some off this one so that you could see these roses. These, yeah, they smell gorgeous. Yeah, so if I keep taking the uh, tops off. And I was trying to show Gabs the other day. I said to her, because she's got a right big bush rose that she inherited my, uh, my daughter in the house they bought uh, with lots of little tiny flowers on so when I go up I'll stay dead it and I was saying to Gabs you see Gabrielle a plant's job is to make flowers so the bees can come but when it thinks it's finished its job it don't give you any more flowers because it thinks done my work now so if you take the heads off it tricks them so they make more flowers ah she says should have forgotten it tomorrow uh, but there you go one of grandma's uh, words of wisdom loving that but i think it's about time we trimmed the bottom we had torrential rain yesterday and i shouldn't really be out garden because green thumbs been um this white rose is fab we managed to get that all the way up there now and it uh, it kind of grows through this one this is holding it up so i'm quite selective on which branches i've been cutting off that but i've got to climb right up there because a couple of dead ones at the top blackberries got brambles coming all over the place here some of them i'm thinking ooh, apple and blackberry pie uh, my skimmy is nearly coming out this is the one that will be pink and it will have tens of uh, bees on when it comes out i absolutely love it right our neighbours oh it's not that bit that's my bit uh, our neighbours had a massive privet which had gone to i don't know 10 or 20 odd foot and the neighbour at the back cut it down uh, but all the dead bits are there and they were all hanging over so we've cut them off and thrown them back 
um, that is even nicer than the one in the pot. That's one I bought for a couple of quid in a sale at Sainsbury's because it looked half dead. So I thought I'll have it and see. I love that. And then this rose uh, is a another climber. Uh, and it's snided, but look at this. That. You see, the bigger the bushes get, the more difficult it is, but I need to get that pinned back to the fence. Because uh, it's laying on top of that at the minute. So I'll get some dead ones off that. Take all the rose hips off. Oh, one under there. I'll never get them all, but it does help. Like uh, these are Crocosmia, and they were laid down all over the place, so we've, we've tied them up. Um, that's the big Irish thing that's nearly finished. This one got almost dug up and trodden on, so look, lots of broken bits on that. Uh, but it's finished anyway, it was a pretty little pink thing. These are coming out like an aster. Uh, this one we've just bought, and I can't even remember what it's called. And I love the colours on this one. Uh, and I said when I put it in, uh, we're going for ground cover, but when I think about it, I don't think it's going to cover the ground with all that screen down. I mean, it's there to stop things coming through if possible so we'll see uh, but it has made me cut these heads off the puppies because they look a mess and uh, yeah I've got a few more on there but I actually like the pop seeds the heads they're really pretty now my uh, climbing rose that we just bought this is the peachy pink one um, that's coming out got a lot of buds on actually 10 20 yeah about 20 buds on that look rambles are coming through all over so i'll get those off but what i do like is the brambles at the top because it's very overgrown uh, and i said to my husband don't cut them off because it's my theory is if they're hanging over here i can have the blackberries uh, and the same applies with the apple tree so I'm hoping we'll get a few apples to have on that. It was beautiful, snided with um, blossom. So the other hanging rose is coming. It was very, very pretty. That one's nearly finished. Uh, and there's only about three, six more buds on that one. Now this should come back again now, Potentilla. Uh, now it's going to get a bit more light. That should be better. This is one that's been in for perhaps a couple of years now. Um, what you call a tea rose. And that, I think, came in uh, a potted plant that the, the kids bought me. You know when you get, there's like mixed plants in it. Uh, and the same with this one. Yellow one. So let's get the meds off and see if we get any more. No more, no more buds on, so that'd be interesting. Let's see if we get any more coming. And then this is just beautiful. I've had to tie this up. We had torrential rain and it was laid on the floor. Um, so I've had to tie it up. It's, it's like a full English rose, isn't it? Um, beautiful. It's like a sweet pea in the middle. And it smells yummy. So that's that. Right, the other side. Done some more. Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, don't wash in line a minute. That's it. So I'm going to start because we can't do the whole thing like we did before. I'm going to start at one end next weekend and dig the buttercups and stuff out. I've tied that poppy up and I've cut the heads off to see if the others open. That is a random tree and I've no idea. I hope it's not a rowan because if it is it grows to about 30 foot. So I think that's going to have to come out. These will be yellow. But they've not come yet. And these, I nearly pulled them out and then I thought, oh I can't remember if they're weeds or penstemon. 
that's the only trouble with pinstone and the leaves do look like weeds and I've uncovered this which I've completely forgotten I've got and now I've realised that I've actually lost two in the other flower bed these are a still bit but it, it's uh, probably fared better at this side because they like to be near water normally um, I've not put me um, thing uh, hydrangea in yet and that's going to go there and these these are aquilegia and they, these would be really really pretty flowers um, but I like the seed heads on these as well so when they've dried completely I'll sprinkle them all over because I think this one's on here because I sprinkled it from from the back of the garden dock leaves oh never ending I keep digging them and they keep coming back see I think that's penstone oh I don't know don't know it could be a weed uh, and same with that one that's finished so I'll sprinkle those these have been a bit of a wash out I think it's been too wet for them uh, but I cut all the heads off that so we'll see whether them little buds open up again uh, masses of yellow on that one that's the one I cut down to about six inches that's pretty Ooh, forgot that were there that were a nice surprise I think it's a campanula I think I think the other ones are a bit washing out. Oh, not too bad. I did deadhead that, and we've got we've got some. And uh, likewise with these, we were waiting for the green bin to be collected, and it has, but we filled it up again instantly. So that's that, and the delphinium to finish is gorgeous. Beautiful mat. Yeah. So that's the garden at the minute, and the hanging baskets. These have flourished nicely. I don't need some rig and grow though. I didn't have any at the um, garden centres. So that's that. Uh, and Dorothy asked me which garden centre, so I've sent her the link. There's two on that road and they're both massive. Both got cafes when they open again. Um, and uh, you spend a few hours there, so. so. Oh, and they have a good section for uh, house plants as well. So that's it. And obviously we've got a new roundabout here. Because we haven't done anything with that yet. The Royal Wee, of course. So that's it. This time had to come out watering. Right, I'm off for my pasta. So I'm just eating up the rest of this. Um, depends what's in the fridge, pasta bake. And what was in the fridge was about 12 slices of pepperoni, uh, half a green pepper, half a yellow pepper. I thought I'd got mushrooms, but I think they'd gone a bit squidgy. Uh, and uh, tin of tomatoes, half a jar of passata was left, so I chucked that in. Uh, and the pasta and uh, a ton of cheese on top oh chilli flakes and uh, obligatory oregano because I just love it yeah lunch see you in a bit morning it's Tuesday morning I didn't do any listing yesterday I did however do a lot of photographs so I photographed all those uh, brooches and these brooches a uh, load of necklaces this morning I've done uh, photographed a job lot, so today's task is get those and some necklaces listed. I'm going to aim for 20, whether it happens or not, but let's aim for it. Um, I've just uploaded some snippets from my phone to the computer and everything might be a bit chopped up because I think some of them's ended up filming sideways, so I'll have to get rid of those. So. Um, I'm not quite sure whether at this point you'll have seen all the weekend sales going out or not so this is all there is going out today uh, this is a maternity dress that was never worn and uh, I put it on at 20 and took an offer of 15 uh, I've got one which is a set of bangles I've already packaged up when I thought about filming um, and this is the second time filming this because the same happened with that I don't know don't know what I'm doing 
Uh, so I've fished these out. I've started putting the brooches in uh, the boxes they're listed. So they're BR1, that's how I'll find my miscue. Um, so I've found these out. Um, I've took an offer on this one for 550. Uh, this one I put on auction at 14.99 and it's gone for 16. And this one has gone on auction uh, at can't remember at uh, 7.99. All the brooches and the jewellery at the minute, including postage. Uh, and the guy has uh, sent me a message and said he's bidding on another. So could I have gone and send them together? Not that it matters with them being free postage, but I said, yeah, that's fine. Uh, having thought about it, as long as the auction day do not make me late, so I that. I'll see. This one is going to Australia. Uh, I took an offer of £5.50 on these because they've been in a, a job lot from oh, an auction like ages ago. And uh, they are weighed. Um, and it's like they have like a copper luster. Um, harvest wear this one. And it's a miniature. Little miniature jug and bowl. So that's going on GSP. Uh, I've got a pair of Crown Bone China Staffordshire uh, vases. Uh, they're just little stem vases with roses on. I don't really want to make them. Um, just a pair. You don't get an awful lot from Don't spend a lot of money picking them up. It's only people come in job lots. Uh, so that's a set of two. Because I'll tell you, I got uh, eight ninety nine for the pair, uh, but these are plus postage, so that's okay on that. Right, um, that's it going out. Yes, right. I'm going to get on my listing today, so uh, yes, I'll commit to twenty, and I'll come back and let you know how I get on. So. Again, sorry if this is all a bit chopped up, but that, you're getting used to that with me, aren't you? Do you know what? I'm out at taking my parcels and I've just realised this is the local shops. We've got Heron Foods, we've got Morrison's Daily. They're open. Post office is open. Cobbs and Crumbs, sandwiches. Convenience store. Chemists. The only shop shut is that one, which is a... Hairdressers, bless them. We've got betting shop, uh, that's a Chinese takeaway, uh, and a chip shop at the end, so bless her. I can understand in a way because people are, you know, they're in there a long time if you want to have things done, but it does seem a shame for her. Anyway, there's less people about than there was before the shops opened, though, so because it's lunchtime. Um, but no schools as yet so do you know this seriously feels weird to me being out of the house still <sighs> and I just want to sit here <laughs> I ought to have a drive round but I've put some bacon in the oven for my lunch the back of my car looks like I've done a haul doesn't it uh, it's getting filled up with um, stuff that's going to the charity shop eventually but I've driven round and uh, the Bernardo's is closed but I looked on their website and they're open in Nottingham and well not not here anyway um, so they've got a list on the website of who's going to be open and there's a little one down the road which you could have a look at which is a dog rescue place um, animal rescue so it's where I take a lot of the bric-a-brac to um, and yeah, it's rattling about in there, but no doubt it'll be full before charity shops are fully open. Um, or they're happy to, I don't want to cart it down there and then they're not happy to take anything yet. Although to be fair, this lot's been in quarantine for about 10 weeks. So even Andrea would be happy with this lot. Well, not the content maybe, but the, <laughs> the lack of um, germs. Right, I best get back and get me bacon butty. Morning. It's Wednesday. I'm going in the loft. Uh, 
Let's see if temperamental light comes on. Yeah, it's on. Right. What are you doing? There we go. Oh. Right, I brought the bag up. Let's uh, just got something in to, to go on here that I've listed. It's a pair of Chinese geisha girls. It's been on the side ages waiting for a label. And I thought, just do it. <sighs> but I've had to come upstairs looking for a glass posy bowl. Now, uh, where are you? I thought I'd put all my glass together. Obviously not. Is it over there? Ah, oh, I did at some point put some glass together. It's there, look. This is pre shelf numbers, this though. Haven't even got around to putting shelf numbers in the listings. They're just on the shelves, so yeah, at least they've got a name. <sighs> right. Still got these to put away. Look, that I brought up. That's packaging stuff to go away. Well, I'll just ignore that. Right, I need a decent sized box for that. Uh, this is sold for £20. It's been on a while, but it's a beautiful cosy bowl. And when they've got the frog, which is a bit in the middle, it's called the frog. Uh, it'll be lovely for daffodils or something because it'll hold them like that. It's going to look stunning. And she's got her flowers in there. But I need a nice, chunky. Uh, see, I need a squarish. Oh, I know. She'll have to have one of these that I bought. That'll be good. That'll be perfect, that 12 inch square they are. So that's that. Right, I better turn you off before I climb downstairs. I'm itching for a cup of coffee. But I said to myself, you can't have one. You can't have one till you've done this packet. So, what I'm going to have to do, I've got so much stuff to do and uh, I'm still trying to kick in from um, lockdown, put myself on furlough, although that was silly, like Carla said. It's her that made me think about that, acting as if we're on furlough and yet actually we shouldn't be. Um, and she's right uh, but I have been knuckling down Monday and yesterday till about dinner and then started flagging now that could be that I am tired um, but I've got to get out I've got to change the habit that I developed of um, going to bed really late uh, and getting up late because I'm determined I'm getting up with Phil when he goes to work um, and crack on like, like proper workers do um, but I can't get myself to to bed early um, this has got a lip that sticks out over there so I'm trying to support that lip in case it gets knocked so I've done a roll of bubble wrap that goes under the lip and all the way around like that. Sorry, I'll move that. Uh, and then I'm going to do another that goes around the outside edge. And then I'll wrap it all up together. It's um, chunky bubble wrap. Um, I forget who it's by now. It's not. Anyway, it's good stuff. But that's that. Right. So I'm going to wrap that all the way around the outside edge. 
so I'm making a little uh, football. It will be as big as a football by the time I've done it. Or basketball even. So that's that. Hmm. Now I'm going over this way. Uh, the frog's filling up. I'll stick that frog in. I'm trying to think about when they open it. <coughs> I don't want it to fall on the floor. So I'll stick that in. And they use brown tape so they can see where the tape is. And, uh, it'll help. Put some extra, extra on the bottom so I can stick that over. It's gone static. That's like could roll it downhill, and then I'll still put wallpaper. <coughs> still put wallpaper around it. Uh, it's lived a long time. This posy bowl, we don't want it breaking. Because of me. Watch. Uh, what have you all been up to? Tell me, are you all back at work properly? If you do resell, that is. Uh, I know some of you don't. Um, Some of you were really good through lockdown and you've, um, I know we're not out of it fully, but um, before we could go anywhere at all, I bet some of you were really good and getting some good figures. Um, I, I don't think I was, not that this thing's affected me physically, I've got away with it, uh, with that, that's, that's really good, but um, mentally I think, just mentally. I think it got everybody down, ups and downs, ups and downs. It's been like a bit of a roller coaster. And uh, obviously, much more sad for others. Um, but I'll go and finish packaging this because it's putting me off chatting to you. Right, done it. It's ended up this big. <laughs> Got a load of wallpaper around it and stuff. It's, um, it's under two kilos though, so that's all right. And there's the Hermes um, uh, price drop in Paglink at the minute, so um, it should go for about two pound fifty. Um, anyway, I'm allowed my cup of coffee now. Look, I'm just waiting for Shelley. Another ten minutes. For Shelley to go live and I'm going to sit and watch that with a few, this is breakfast look. Oh somebody's bringing a skip. Um, might get a bit rattly because he's picking up a skip full of bricks. Uh, Cheerios, no milk or anything on, I'll just eat them dry while I'm watching. Shelley, yesterday I wanted to list 20 um, items didn't I? Well I didn't, I only listed seven but if I get what I'm asking there'll be about £102 which is not enough when I think about it. I need to be listing, to get £100 a day I need to be listing about uh, £1400 a week and uh, I'm just not cutting it at the minute so we'll have to get on. But yesterday, you see I get so easily distracted. This was the first one I pulled out to list. I don't know if you'll have seen this on a um, haul yet, one of the jewellery hauls. But it's very interesting. This, I said in the uh, in the haul that this is the thing that attracted me to the lot. Uh, and it's a beautiful looking ivy um, brooch. 
very old it's got a c-class brass um, and it's lovely now I thought I would put it down as lucite but it's like an amber colour so just as a matter of interest I got the UV light I don't know if you're going to be able to see in this light but I got the UV light and it really glows it really glows the sort of greeny yellow especially in it, when I go in my airing cupboard um, so I thought oh that's interesting however for amber it's a bit of a big piece so it definitely feels man I suppose resin feels like plastic um, so what I did next was I tried rubbing it as they say on my jeans not jeans on my trousers uh, rubbing my thumb on it not got any smell at all anyway I thought well I'll just try it like I did with the Bakelite um, bracelet because Lucite didn't smell from what I can gather. Um, celluloid smells of camphor, which they say is like Vicks. And um, mothballs. Now some say camphor smells like mothballs, some say it smells like Vicks, I don't know. Um, and there's also formaldehyde, which was in Bakelite. Um, so... I've run it under a hot tap and it smells really strongly of chemicals um, which I keep thinking is formaldehyde which would make it Bakelite but Bakelite is heavier <laughs> and uh, this is sort of semi-translucent which would make me think celluloid so I'm absolutely stumped anyway I've had to invest in some semi-chrome um, paste that people used to test baker like so I thought even if not on this piece I will want it at some point uh, but I've had to send for it from America uh, and luckily I found one that's got postage set at £1.50 normally postage is set at about 13 quid so I don't know whether they're making any money or not but I've ordered it uh, and it says it's been posted so I'll test it for baker like but I don't think it is baker like I think it is more celluloid um, so we'll see but that took me an hour um, down that road and then I didn't get back to listing until about nine o'clock last night and I managed to get uh, how many did I say seven managed to get seven done so I've got all these to list today uh, they're all drafted with photographs in um, but I'm going to have to start making lists because I've got so much to do. I think what I'll do is I'll need uh, this. This is an, an old to-do book. Things to do today. Or cross off and move over to tomorrow. Uh, the shopping list and all sorts of things. Uh, so I need a nice long list. And then that's of everything I need to do. And then I'm going to have to split it down and just pick two things off the list every day and make sure they get them done. Um, just to keep me on track. And when I start flagging about two o'clock, instead of being really dilatory and ending up doing nothing for the rest of the afternoon, I think I ought to have an half hour snooze like I did before. I was trying to remember how it worked well before. But... Too much YouTube, too much Facebook yesterday. Tell you what I'm enjoying though, I'm enjoying watching everybody's hauls that they're getting out and they're having a, a lovely time at their car boots and coming back with some great stuff. And people have been out looking for charity shops and some have found a couple and bought some stuff. Um, and videos for them are coming, so they make a nice change, don't they? Whereas mine's all a bit samey at the minute. It's all, uh, it's all jewellery. It's different in that some's necklaces, some's bracelets, some earrings or brooches but it's all a bit sparkly um, so I suppose I ought to end this there because this would probably, I know it's been a bit more of a waffle, uh, pinched Carla's word um, and it's all been a bit samey 
I just want to say thank you to any new subscribers. I'm still aiming for that 3,000 to do that giveaway. I might have to do a giveaway at 2,900 and something. <laughs> so, I hope you're all having a fantastic time and you're enjoying being back to work and that you're staying fit and healthy. Uh, so, I will see you soon. Keep watching the hauls. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done. We'll get there eventually. And um, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Love you loads. Bye. Thank you.